Welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition. So the console I was looking for, yeah. Knowles, this is Shepard. I found one of the code locations. Okay, I'll shut it down. Just need to authorize your Spectre status. Someone used this to cut off power to a dozen life support machines in the hospital. Okay, that access code is officially disabled. Can you find any more? Spectre status recognized. One moment, please. Let me try uh, Presidium Commons. Nope. Now arriving at one moment, please. I think the last one. Nope. I'll try the docks then. Now arriving at one moment, please. Odd. Is the second one still a Huerta or? Wait, what the hell? Now arriving at one moment. Okay. Now arriving one moment, please. All right, D24 then. Let's try that. Okay. I genuinely didn't think that was going to happen. Now arriving at docking bay D24. I'd like to request a transfer to a zone with Reaper Sergeant. And may I ask... Knowles, I found another spot where the Batarian codes were used. Holy crap. These are the remote navigation codes. Last week's crash at the docks, we thought it was an accident. Shepard, there were 117 Alliance soldiers on that ship. All human. Just like the patients at the hospital. So we've got Batarian codes. Looks like... Okay. This code's offline now as well. Should just be one left, Commander. You finally made it off the Normandy. Glad I did. Even with the chaos of all the refugees, seeing so many ships in flight is comforting. Gets me thinking. Hey, a Turian frigate. I think that's the PFS Havenkaw. What's one Turian warship doing at the Citadel? Looking for dry dock, I bet. She's seen battle. Look at the waiver in her drive core emissions. Alone, limping, looking for a haven. Maybe it would have been better to just go down fighting, like their families back home. Are you talking about the Turians or yourself? I should have been there. With Robert. I'm glad you weren't. You'd be dead, and we'd never have met. Yeah. Well, that's the one good thing from all this. I'm glad to serve with you, Shepard. The Reapers are expecting victory. They won't get it. Nobody is giving up. Not those Turians. Not me. Not you. If anyone can pull this all together, it's you. Is that an Alliance cruiser? What's it doing here? That's the SSV London. Decommissioned years ago. Look, no guns. Refugees must have salvaged her from a shipyard. Geneva-class cruisers always had ESO cores like granite. People find a way to survive. Do whatever it takes to see another day. <sighs> I gotta let go. For real this time. The refugees here put up a memorial wall. They leave mementos of lost loved ones. I was thinking maybe... What's stopping you? Nothing. I mean... Let me think about it. Your suggestion to come out here was a good one, Commander. I needed this. Please tell me that didn't bug out. That would be insufferable. Spectre status recognized. Okay, uh, docks holding areas. Alright. And that should be the last console. Forces from killing the council. 
Are you kidding me? About time. Listen, please, we just need more food. I can give you the location of some ruins. Prothean ruins on Gay Hinnom in the Hades Nexus. If you could get past the Reaper Patrolis, I'm sure you'd find something. Are you kidding me? That's got to be. Knowles, this is where the last access code was used. One sec, Commander, I'm losing your signal. Shepard. Balak. You should have killed me on that asteroid over Terra Nova. I've been waiting for this. Everything that has happened to my people is your fault. All I did was stop you at Terra Nova. Yes. After you ruined my plans, my government accelerated research efforts on the Leviathan of Dis. Have you heard of it, Commander? The ancient organic dreadnought my people recovered from Jartar 20 years ago? Sound familiar? A Reaper. Your people were studying a Reaper corpse. Yes. Looking for a way to reclaim our place as the true power of the galaxy. Hundreds of our best scientists were enlisted. And then they became indoctrinated. When the Reapers reached Karshan, our own people betrayed us. Defense grids were deactivated. Ships fired on allied targets. We were destroyed from within because of you. The Batarians made enemies throughout the galaxy. And now you've paid the price for it. We were a proud race. A beautiful race. Have you seen what the Reapers have done to us? I'm trapped on this citadel. Our warships only know the locations of Reaper forces because I've tapped Council transmissions. I am the highest ranking military officer left in the hegemony, and I can't save my people. But I can end you. You're not gonna pull that trigger. You know what I'm doing out here. Yes. Forging alliances with the Turians, the Krogan. Killing you will tear all the other races apart. And then the Reapers wipe out the last of your warships. The last of your people. And you know that. That's why you'll join us. We're all you have left. I could kill you. I could do it right now. Shepard, are you all right? Fine. You won't have any more trouble with those codes. Is that... do you want me to arrest him? I want you to put a bullet in his head. But we're all making some sacrifices today. Let him go. Spectre Authority. Understood, Commander. And thanks. That scene where Shepard turns around with a gun pointed at his head that it's like... Yeah, you're my bitch now. Balak. I love that moment. It's the reason he's alive right now. Why I didn't put a bullet in him in Mass Effect 1. Well, I also wasn't particularly keen on letting the people die there that helped me to stop that asteroid, so that's also the reason. If the decision is to kill someone at the cost of innocence, yeah, you know, you can always put a bullet in someone's head later. Uh, people stay dead, you know. All right. Uh, actually, wait. Yeah. All right. Now arriving at docking bay D twenty four. Actually, I'm gonna go to the Citadel embassies and see if there's anything on the Spectre terminal for me to use. Hopefully, now these dialogues don't remain bugged. Your daughter's paperwork has been processed. What? You said it was impossible. How did you pull it off? Well, I talked to a few friends, called in a few favors, maybe even stayed up a few nights. I wasn't sure I could pull it off, but everything's in order, and your daughter... All right. She's sending her daughter to Fessia. Isn't there, like... A uh, benefit you can access from this, well, this terminal. Mm.
like some spousal support or whatever it is. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Sergeant, I have a little brother. He went off-planet to try and make money, hung with a lousy crowd. A week before the Reapers, my brother sent me this excited message. He'd found an organization with lots of pay, benefits. He snuck me a photo of the shiny new armor they gave him. White and yellow armor, ma'am. Kate. Hey, I wondered where you went. What's up? I'm trying to wrap my head around what just happened. You sound angry. No, just not used to staring down the gun of someone I've worked with so closely. I went on one down, it's got me... I don't know. Okay. Talk to me. Let's have it. If I hadn't backed down first, I feel like you would have taken me out. I trusted you, and I knew you'd come around. That's all that matters. Main thing is, we stop the coup, and Cerberus is off the Citadel. Yeah, but sometimes the way a thing goes down does matter, Shepard. Later, when you have to live with yourself. Knowing that you acted with integrity. And it matters. You're talking about Adina. He gave me no choice, so I took the shot. Any soldier would have done the same. Including you. Okay. Look, Shepard, there's, uh, there's another reason I'm here. Hackett offered me a position, but I'd turn it down in a second if there was a chance to join you in the Normandy again. Couldn't imagine meeting the Reapers without you. <sighs> Thank you, Commander. And Shepard, I need you to know that I'll never doubt you again. I get you back. Good to know. Welcome aboard, Major. Aye, aye, sir. All right. Shepard, I got Anderson patched in. I was just getting him up to speed. Odina? That SOB was always power hungry. But this? He wasn't in charge. Cerberus was just using him to take control of the Citadel. What the hell for? I don't know. Not yet. Could have been a lot worse. Shepard stopped the assassination attempt on Counselor Valorn. Kyline. What? Your assassin. I'll have Hackett send you my reports on him. I take it you two have met. Kaylee Sanders and I had our share of run-ins with him. I shot him in both legs once. Thought that might be the end of him. But he showed up again on Omega, even stronger. Elusive man patch him up? That'd be my guess. Given what they were able to do with you and Grayson, it's a safe bet Lang's even more dangerous now. I don't care who he is. Next time we meet, he dies. Their attempts may have had at least one unintended side effect. I received word from the Asari counselor. They're requesting an update on the Crucible. Lang has them scared. Enough to send help? Mm. Yes, the Asari and Solarians are both throwing in their support now. How's your progress on the Crucible? Good. Our estimates suggest we've completed nearly 50% of the known work. So quickly? Once decoded, the schematics are designed in such a way that allows our scientists to easily translate the information. It's not Prothean specific. Hmm. Are we any closer to understanding how to use it? That's still open for debate. Utilized in the right fashion, our scientists are convinced it can generate enough energy to destroy the Reapers. The question is, how will it dispense the energy, and in what form? You mean, how do you stop it from wiping us all out? Exactly. We think the catalyst is the key to determining how to focus its energy, how to direct its energy at the Reapers alone. I'm working on that. 
You'll find the answer, Shepard. I'll send you an update on the schematics. And in the meantime, we'll keep building. And we'll keep fighting. Make sure there's an Earth left to come back to. You've always trusted me. I won't let you down. We're still in this. The gods of war haven't given up on us yet. Good luck, both of you. Anderson out. Commander, the Turian fleet is stretched thin. We need more support ships. And the Quarians are willing to talk. Understood, sir. I'll look into it. Be careful. We've got reports of instability along the Geth border. Hack it out. Shepard, do you have a moment? A contact within Asari High Command was insistent I pass on a distress signal to you. Something they can't handle? From what I can tell, they sent several commando squads to investigate. None of them returned. They didn't ask me directly, but I think High Command is hoping you might help. What's your take on this? That they wouldn't ask for help if it wasn't important. The colony's coordinates are on the galaxy map. I'll try to figure out what's going on. Commander, I found something you need to see. What have you got? A group of Cerberus scientists cut ties and fled. Perhaps they finally realized they were on the wrong side. We don't know what they were researching, but they were among the elusive man's top scientists. They could help build the Crucible. Unless they're indoctrinated, and this is a ruse to get Cerberus close to the Crucible. I'm not suggesting we trust them fully, but it could be worth investigating. Has the Alliance tried to make contact with the scientists? They've been unable to find them, but they're searching. As is Cerberus. I've been monitoring Cerberus communications. I've charted signal frequency from various Cerberus cells by location and cross-referenced known ship movements. You found them? I believe so, yes. Nice work. Put it on the map and I'll give it a look. It's on the map now, Commander. Thanks. Commander? Commander?
I could really use something to shoot right now. So Cerberus wanted to go into politics, huh? Nice job shutting those assholes down. Didn't you used to work for those assholes? Something about leather seats? I worked for Cerberus when they were vigilantes helping the helpless. Now they're a little too mainstream. And evil. The important thing is that you kicked their asses. And Cadence back. He even remembered the first rule of serving on the Normandy. Don't shoot the commander. Go easy on Caden. He's been through a lot. Yeah, like drawing a gun on a superior officer, nearly getting the council killed. That's not gonna look good on the yearly performance review. Commander. Hello, Shepard. What's on your mind, Edie? The destruction of the Reaper on Tachunka. It is rare for a technologically superior force to be destroyed by an inferior one. Yeah, so now all we need is a gun that fires Thresher Maws. That was a joke. I'm sorry, Shepard. I was contemplating. You said that asking you abstract social questions may lead to unreliable answers, so I stayed silent. I didn't realize this would be an ongoing issue. Let's air it out. I was considering this. For all their supposed intelligence, the Reapers are more easily destroyed than they think. This has caused me to reassess the probable period of time before I am non-functional. You're worried about dying? In a sense. My processing power is consumed with calculations to help us combat the Reapers. But I can run those scenarios with the rest of the crew. May I ask you another question that troubled Jeff? Here we go again. What is the purpose of synthetic life? It's not that different from organic life. A free-willed synthetic chooses what it wants. But the purpose of organic life is to preserve itself long enough to replicate copies of its genes in succeeding generations. My purpose is not so clear. The other successful synthetic life forms that I have examined for comparison are the Geth. And the Reapers. Reproduction isn't all there is. We find meaning in the work we do. Good deeds we accomplish. Love. I see. I will search my files on the biographies of humans to see if prominent figures follow the pattern you suggest. It appears many humans did in fact do so. That was quick. <laughs> Gotta love quantum computing. Shepard, I will alter my processing power to give priority to your stated goals. Duty, altruism, love. Wait, wait, you're just gonna turn yourself good? Can you do that? It should take some time. If I have further questions, I will speak with you again. Thank you. Are you and Caden okay? The last time he saw that body, it wasn't exactly pleasant. I have informed him of the situation. He is taking it well. Good. Hello, Shepard. You know, this is why the synthesis ending is a pile of shit. That conversation right Commander, there. Doctor Chakwas sent word that she'd like to speak with you down in the med bay. <sighs> of course she would. Shepard. Hell of a day. Budina loses his mind. The citadel almost falls, and you almost had to put down a friend. Got a little tense there. If it had come down to it, could you have pulled the trigger? If they hadn't backed down? Yes. This war is bigger than any one person. I'll be sure to remember that next time we have a disagreement. Still, I'm glad Caden didn't have to join Ash. Losing one was enough. Good to have Caden back. We can always use a friendly gun. Good to have Caden back. We can always use a friendly gun. <sighs> All seems so calm from here. There are people going through hell in a million different ways. Out there. And I want to be fighting alongside them, but... <sighs> I want to be here. You know? Sure. Thinking of anyone specific? 
I heard from my mom, Shepard. My dad is, uh... He's M.I.A. <sighs> he's presumed. Tell me what happened. You said they got out of Vancouver. He left mom at the orchard and reported for active duty. It's all we know, but... It's, uh... It's enough. She's alone in this now. In... All this. I feel for you, Caden. And I'm glad you told me. There's strength in camaraderie. In empathy. Thanks. You're right. I don't know how you do it, Shepard. Keeping it all together like you do. Earth is always in the back of my mind. So use it. That's how I cope. I think about how Earth looked. And how it's gonna look when we get back. Guns blazing. The whole galaxy behind us. <laughs> yeah. And my students. Well, wherever they are, I know they're kicking ass. On Earth or somewhere. You know, when this war is over, there's gonna be one hell of a reunion party. Hell yeah. Dancing in the streets, hugging and crying. My mom's always wanted to travel off planet. I think I'll take her. Thanks for coming by. Good to have you back, Caden. Hey, I bumped into Edie in the hall. Scared the shit out of me. You could have warned me. She looks good, though. Getting settled? Not much to unpack. Left Earth in a hurry. Just the close. Cerberus didn't cut corners rebuilding this place. There's a whole lot of credits in here. Can't wait to get back out there. Commander, an opportunity has come to my attention that may interest you. What's going on, Doctor? Refugees arrived at the Citadel recently in possession of military-grade medical supplies and equipment. In reviewing our inventories, I determined we have an excess of medical supplies to treat contagion, exposure, and malnutrition. They're equipped to help injured soldiers, and we have supplies to help suffering refugees? Precisely. Perhaps you could ply your charms to broker a trade. Isn't this something you could do yourself? War profiteering is running rampant, and these refugees are wary of the Alliance military. They didn't trust me. But you are Commander Shepard, the hero. You could persuade them. I'll find the refugees as soon as I can. Speak with Tactus. Many of the refugees near the Citadel docks look to him for leadership. Thank you, Commander. With access to their equipment and materials, I believe I could increase the effectiveness of our Medigel. It would help all involved if you could barter a trade of medical supplies with the Citadel refugees. Speak to Tactus. You should be able to find him near them. Per your orders, I have... Their security is in disarray, but it would still be Latest latest reports on the council attempt to position any agents in their personal staff. And it's far too risky after Odina's coup. Postpone those deployments. Hello again. A pleasure to see you. Breaking now, the Citadel in flames. A break. Commander, I've got some questions about the coup. I'm online with my producer right now. Can we set up an interview in your cabin? Traitors are the worst form of enemy. In our cycle, we would remove their limbs one by one and offer them a choice. Eat their own flesh or starve. Your politician deserved far worse than a bullet. 
And if the other human had not seen reason, his death would be certain too. There is only one enemy in this war. Reapers. No others would be tolerated. I would like to visit the Citadel again, when it is not infested with traitors. The Kai Leng human bears watching, Commander. I sense that the blood in his veins is very cold. Yes? Alright, well, Javik certainly makes a damn point. This is a war for the entire species survival, so... Let's go to the shadow bay. We are certainly gonna have a lot of fun doing this. Okay. Never thought I'd be doing a combat drop onto the Citadel. I can't believe Udina. Great example to the other races, huh? Commander? Hey, Commander. I knew Udina was a dirty bastard, but I never would have guessed he was that rotten. This whole war is loco. I mean, can't they all see how we need to work together? When people are scared, they're slow to trust. Sure, but... Ah, what's the point? Look, just so you know, I've got a new shoot-first, ask-questions-later policy when it comes to politicians. Fair enough. Hey. Trainer, if you're not doing anything, I've got a few hours free. Would you like to come up? Your cabin is gorgeous. I've seen apartments smaller than this. Well, Commander, ready to play? Play? I picked up a chessboard on the Citadel. GUI interface, not nearly as nice as real pieces, but this takes up less space. And I recall you delivered something that closely resembled a challenge. So, interested? The most exciting thing you can think of is playing chess. Well, if you're not up for the challenge... Try me. Ha! Oh, come on! <laughs> My word, Commander. It's almost as though you wanted to spare your pawns the indignity of living under my regime. In real life, that tactic would have worked. 
Well, in real life, one doesn't move on an 8x8 eight eight square grid. You know what I mean. The pawns are infantry. A good infantry line, like the Krogan, can take a charge like that. That reminds me of a joke. What's the difference between Commander Shepard and a Krogan? One is an unstoppable juggernaut of head-butting destruction. And the other doesn't have a smart-ass comm officer to keep him in line. Ooh, that's even better than the number of testicles punchline. I'm glad you didn't run back to the lab, trainer. Thanks. So, rematch? Hell yes. Trainer, can you send Diana up? She wanted an interview. Right away, Commander. Ready for a chat, Commander? I'm ready. Commander, it's no secret that Council Space has suffered some serious losses to the Reapers lately. Now Cerberus has struck directly at the seat of our government. If something as small as a human terrorist organization can hit the Citadel, is anywhere safe? Cerberus has limited resources. This coup attempt was likely the best they could do, and it cost them a lot of money and troops. A little fear is understandable, but it can't paralyze you. They've failed as many times as they've succeeded. But humanity has lost its counselor. The Alliance Parliament is destroyed, and the Prime Minister's dead. The line of succession is getting pretty short. How long do you expect any new Alliance administration to last? Leaders will rise. You can't lose hope. Our enemies won't rest until they've taken the last human being. Until then, we're not beaten. Right now, it's everyone's duty to step up. All right. Now a question from Thessia. Commander, during your tribunal, some said you had Cerberus ties. Thanks for your time, Commander. This is Diana Allers for Battlespace. Good night and stay strong. Be careful, Commander. You keep feeding me like this and I'll follow you home. I think we're just fine in front of the camera. Oh, did you think? Ah, oh, of course you did. Me and my big mouth. I'd better get out of here before I send another wrong signal. See ya, Commander. James. I've got some time if you want to talk privately. On my way. Hey man, how's it going? Good, James. You? Good, good. Wow. So this is what I can look forward to when I get my own command. You want your own ship, Vega? Yeah, maybe one day. When I'm old and I can't fight worth shit anymore. You just come up here to make fun of your commander? Sorry, loco. I guess... maybe I got some things on my mind. I, I wanted to get your opinion on something. Shoot. What did you do when they asked you to join the N7 program? I mean, was it a no-brainer for you, or... did you think about it before accepting? I'm a soldier, Vega. And I wanted to be the best damn soldier I could be. It doesn't get better than N7. So I hear. You get the best training, best equipment, best assignments. And they expect the best in return. Yes, they do. Why are you asking? Well, even all the shit that's going on, somebody somewhere managed to track me down and forward an N7 commendation. It's dated the same day the Reapers attacked Earth. You don't sound too thrilled. Well, aside from the fact that there won't be an N7 program if we don't win this war, I just... Being a soldier is the only thing I've ever been really good at. And not because I try. I allowed to kick my ass out years ago. Last time I had a command, I lost almost everyone. And they promoted me for it. I guess I'm just not sure if I'm ready to lead again. I don't know if I want that responsibility. You mentioned that before. What went wrong? <sighs> what didn't go wrong? We were out on patrol, checking on some strange readings. Then the Collectors hit, but they hit the colony first. 
By the time we got back, most of the colonists had been subdued or abducted, including our CO, Captain Tony. So you were in charge? Yeah. We laid low for a bit, waiting for a chance to strike, but before we could, we were betrayed. One of the colonists turned out to be a Cerberus spy working with the Collectors. I had no choice. I killed him and destroyed the Collector ship. But it got ugly. We lost most of the colonists and all but one of my squad. Not exactly a textbook operation. As a leader, you've got a job to do. Keeping everyone alive isn't it. If you're afraid to send your troops into a do-or-die situation, you'll never succeed. Yeah. Did you know that before you joined the N7? Yeah. That's why I was asked. And it's why they asked you. There's not a single N7 that hasn't sacrificed, either themselves or their soldiers at some point. So you think I should accept? Assuming we survive this, that's a no-brainer. You're a damn good soldier, Vega. Don't waste that opportunity. I'll think about it. Seriously. If you don't mind, maybe don't mention this to anyone else. Of course not. Gracias. Well, I think I better get back to the hangar. Things here are it's a little too soft for me. The bed's a lot harder than it looks. I'll take your word for it. Thanks again, loco. Anytime. Okay. So I think I've done all that could be done over there. Let's go explore the galaxy. Krogan DMZ, Athena Nebula, Nimbus. Well, Nimbus Cluster. So I think I have uh, remember something about scanning, by the way. That whatever you do, if you can prevent the Reapers from... I found something. ...from actually uh, being activated in a system, it's better to just like hop from systems to system and then get the scans. Do the minimal amount of scans that's possible. Oh, damn it. Anyway, now don't get me wrong, I'm gonna go back there and I'm gonna find that damn fuel uh, cell. Signal confirmed. light jump successful. Evasion successful. All right, let's get out of here. Eluded. All right, the Valhalla threshold.
faster than light jump successful. The rail lamp. I found something. Evasion successful. All right, let's jump. Reapers eluded. Successful. All right, let's go to the Fina. All right. Well, Fessia is still safe. So I can actually explore and collect a bunch of stuff around here. Or can I? I see I might be safe, but not the allowing systems. Signal confirmed. Interesting that they would treat the collider, the super collider. Evasion successful. All right. Reapers eluded. Faster than light jump successful. Evasion successful. Arisonia. Signal confirmed. Reapers 
Reapers eluded. All right, sixty six percent. I found something. than light jump successful. Okay. Signal confirmed. Ah, oh, there we go. Signal confirmed. something. Asian successful. Reapers eluded. Alright, Questine here signing out. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and enable notifications.